Let us go for another problem on formal language. The problem here is like this. Determine the grammar G where L of G is equal to A to the power of N, B to the power of M where N is greater than M and that is greater than or equal to 1. That means it is asking that we can have uh, more number of A compared to B and A can be of 500 number of and B can be of 1. So, that can also happen, but A number should be more than the number of occurrences of B. So, that is the issue and another issue is that all the A's will be coming at first, then the B's will be coming. So, how to solve this one? That means, I should have one production where I can produce A, but I shall not produce B. But whenever I shall produce B, at least one A should be produced. And what is the minimum string possible here? What is the minimum string? Here you see the value of m can be equal to 1. So, that is the minimum. So, if m is equal to 1, then n is greater than m. That means, n should be at least 2. That means, this particular grammar can produce string like a square b to the power of 1. So, this, this, this is the minimum string it can produce. So, that has to be taken into account. So, let me write the grammar now. Right, grammar means let me write the productions at first. So, I shall go for S produces A S. So, here you see if you go on applying this one, then A will be produced, but no B will be produced. Okay. Next, if I produce one B, then at least one A should be produced. If I produce one B, then at least one A should be produced. So, that will balance the number of B and A. Here A can be of multiple number of times as we require and the minimum string which can be produced is this one. So, thus I have ensured that thus I have ensured that this particular grammar will always produce higher number of A's than number of B's. So, that is the grammar production rules. So, from there we can easily uh, get the V n V t P s. So, grammar G is equal to V n v t and p s. Sometimes we write v t as sigma. So, here v n is equal to. So, in this way I can easily define this particular grammar v n v t p s and that is the production rule. Okay. So, in this way I can ensure that always number of a in the sentence will be greater than the number of b. I think you are getting this logic. Thanks for watching this video.